All right, hello everyone. So um, I've received a lot of uh, questions and uh, through email and through comments about uh, the gear that I use, and uh, this is going to be kind of a new feature. I'm going to try to take things one at a time. I've tried to do a general overview, and but it, that always always comes back with more specific questions. So today I'm just going to talk about um, and do a product review of the gloves that I use, which are uh, almost exclusively Aqualung. Thermocline K gloves, and the K stands for Kevlar, which is this palm area in the back of the fingers. I've been using these gloves for, uh, well, actually, I think since I first discovered them, I, I couldn't tell you how long ago it's been. I've been through a you know a couple of dozen pairs over the years. Um, I use I usually go through a pair a year, um, but then I kind of step them down and. and in other words, after I use it for a while, and they become a little bit more worn, they'll become my my river gloves, you know, my dive digging gloves and such. Um, and then I'll upgrade my new ones, which this is a new pair, as well as that is a new pair, um, which I haven't even used them yet. Um, but I'll these will be my my normal scuba diving gloves, where I need where it's just more of a general um, dive other than a treasure dive. I've actually a lot. Why well, I have two here is because I have a large pair and an extra large pair. I'm in that area of in between. They both fit me. Um, these fit me a little more snug, obviously, and these fit me a little uh, less snug. They, these actually fit me quite perfectly, but at times I need a tighter fitting pair, so I will, I will go with them, uh, the large pair. So, sorry about the car driving by. Um, these are typically, I will use the three millimeter gloves but I do have um, a pair of five mil. Now the reason I don't use five mil all the time is because they are a very warm glove but they're also stiffer when you have them on your hands and you have less dexterity um, in using them. Your hands just it's just a little stiffer and they're also a little bit more difficult to get on and off uh, but uh, I struggle that on struggle on and off with them just fine uh, but I'll use these on deeper colder dives um, or if, or if I know the water temperature is really cold uh, in the ocean, say, you know, below 50, I will usually wear, wear the 5 mils. Um, okay, so 5 millimeter gloves, so 3 mil, 3 mil, and 3 mil. Now, after these are the ones that uh, most of you come to recognize through my videos. Um, and I use these uh, pretty much exclusively uh, for treasure hunting. And this is just basically one of these pairs that I've used for a while. And... Uh, my older pair, when they, they start splitting at the seams, and what they'll do, the reason all the tape's on there is that they will typically split or start splitting like right here along this little seam. Um, and I just tape them up and keep them closed. Um, I like the Kevlar gloves because they are virtually indestructible. Um, come across a, lot, across a lot of sharps out there, right? Broken bottles and stuff. You know... I'm not going to cut my hand on these using them, right? I can actually jab my, <laughs> they're not going to go through. At least I've never experienced that. I did, however, one time get a uh, piece of metal that came through the split in the seam and uh, kind of gave me a little poke. But other than that, these things are awesome. Um, again, the K stands for, uh, you know, the K there stands for Kevlar, and these are Kevlar palms. All right, so new glove, new glove, and I'm, I'm rambling on. Um, this is what they sometimes end up looking like as well. Sometimes I'll trim the fingers off, and I'll actually bring these to like a warm water dive uh, location, like say Florida, somewhere like that, where I might be uh, having to grab a uh, anchor line or something going down to a shipwreck. Um, and they're typically covered with barnacles and other little sharp things that'll cut you. And so it's uncomfortable to gather, to grasp with your with your whole hand and so what I'll do is I'll just put these on and as rope comes down I'll just palm the rope right as I'm going down so that I but I still have my fingers available and I don't I'm not wearing these again for warmth as much as I am for protection so I've already talked about let me just leave that on <laughs> I've already talked about how they will sometimes split as they get older uh, down the down the uh down the seams, but another place that they uh, that they will weaken, and that's just for me pulling them on and off, probably wrong, is right through here. They will typically become get loose like that. And again, this is not to de to degrade or denigrate 
um, Aqualung at all. This is as typical, and actually, I think these hold up better than most um, most gloves. I'm not really careful with my equipment sometimes because I, I, I do a lot of diving, and uh, I well, I use it, and I realize in my mind that they are well, they're a consumable, right? So, all right, so I'm rambling on and on, so I'm gonna end this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the feature. Um, oh, price point. I actually had the website opened up here. So um, this is Aqualong's website, and the price point for three millimeter thermocline gloves is $62, um, 64 for the five millimeter ones. $2 difference for a whole lot more glove seems like a pretty reasonable thing, or maybe it's not, it's just less reasonable to have a three mil, kind of costs only $3 less. Um, but I just bought these $62 in the in my local dive shop. Um, so they're true to that. All right, so that's about it. Again, uh, let me know what you think about this segment and I will bring more gear up uh, as you have questions.